Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. <laughs> uh, my name is Janine, I'm a spiritual medium, and there's a lot of, a lot of good stuff going on right now. So if you're seeing this video, it means um, basically you're you're right in line with me and uh, the information you get is whenever you get it and um, basically they're saying is whenever whoever sees this is the right time that you see this that's basically the message I was getting so I was hearing the first thing when I got up this morning was that there's a portal opening up you know, then I checked the calendar and I remember 222 so we are heading into if it we, I'm feeling we've already opened up into another portal um, but it's going to really hit on the 22nd. But this is a time because today Mercury uh, retrograde has ended, but we still have a shadow of it until March 13th. So you might still have the shadow effects of it and then just be, you know, just be patient and everything like that. I wrote a bunch of notes down because there was a bunch of information that I was getting. Um, but the moon is still in Gemini, so you might still get some more creative ideas coming through, more fresh ideas coming through. Um, people coming in, helping you out, um, things like that. And, okay, there was something else I had to get into, but this was first. Okay, so they're saying it's really time to get grounded. And get, you know, you're going to start getting more creative ideas. So they're saying to really create what you really want in your life. Really start asking yourself, what do you want to do? What do you want to be? You know, who do you want to be? You know, start um, getting those thoughts in on paper. Start journaling it, start writing it, start being that, that person that you want to be. Um, so Mercury retrograde has ended, and we're still in the shadow effects of it until March 13th. So this is a time to really, you know, be patient still. Um, we're still going through healing, um, especially in triggers of things that uh, affect us or triggers that affect us. So we're still healing through trauma and things like that. You know, they're saying to really be patient from you, especially when we're healing from old wounds, past wounds. And it's not even just wounds that we're dealing with in this lifetime. We're also dealing with wounds from a past lifetime. So they're saying to be, be really aware that, you know, you may be feeling stuff you're not even aware of why you're feeling it. And it's from a past life issue. So we're healing old past life wounds. And they're saying this is a time to really, you know, be honest with, uh, yeah, be honest with yourself. But, um... Be patient with yourself. Be uh, caring to yourself. Take care of yourself. Uh, you know, go in the you know, soak yourself in water and things like that. You know, cleanse yourself. Get your feet in the ocean. Get in nature. Um, and you know, meditate and be easy on yourself. Okay. Um, and then I heard something about Pluto going into retrograde around April twenty seventh, and this is a time we're going to be heading into more clarity, and miracles, communication, things like that are going to be happening. Um, it's going to be, this is a time right now, I'm feeling like it's, um, we're going through a very magical time. And it's going to rapidly manifest a lot of our abilities or things that we are trying to create into our life. So between now and April 27th is where the big one is hitting because Pluto is going retrograde. Um, and it's going to bring a lot of, um, a lot of blessings into our lives. Um, so you want to have clear intentions. Make sure you have clear set intentions of what you really want to be or create into your life because if you don't have clear intentions it's just going to be back and forth energy and you're going to be like oh why am I not getting what I want it's because you're not being clear in what you really want be clear that you know in your heart and your space you know what you want to do like me I've been struggling with you know not that I'm struggling with but you know I'm a medium but it's um it's hard to get out there and it's hard to you know putting yourself out there and, you know, hoping somebody recognizes your video, but, you know, I'm still doing it because I know I'm being guided to do something because I'm helping other people. So even if I'm helping one or two people and I'm not getting that many subscribers yet, it's like I know I'm helping somebody out there because I know it's going to reach somebody else. And it's going to bounce and bounce and bounce. It's going to start getting out there. So I know the information I'm getting is accurate. And I've been testified this from other people that I've talked to. So I'm just going to keep doing what I do and, you know, bring light to people. Um, but be clear on what you want. Tell the universe what you really want to do. You know, be prepared for the miracles to start coming in. Um, another thing is that, you know, if you're going through the dark shadow, uh, dark night, dark soul, dark night of the soul, whatever you want to call it, um, this is a time it's going to really affect us. You know, this is what we've been going through. And, you know, just know you're not alone. It's just part of the process of healing old trauma. We're waking up to who we really are. You know, all the stuff that, you know, we went through as kids or whatever, you know, it's just, 
byproduct of our circumstances, basically. And that's the word they were telling me. So we know how to word it, but this is what they were saying. So it's all that stuff in the past is not really who we are. You know, that just affected us. So it's now it's up to us to change it and heal and move forward. You know, it's like we don't have to hold on to any of those uh, old beliefs and things like that. I just hear fluttering by my ears, so I, I'm feeling like the angels are with me right now. But be careful. You might see an orb. I don't know. <laughs> um, there's a lot of uh, angels are around us, and they're really wanting you to communicate. Be really clear on your intentions and what you want to really bring out into uh, what you want to bring out into the world, you know, why do you think you're here? You know, really start asking your questions, start really getting it out there, start journaling it, start asking the universe, start telling them, show me signs, show me direction, you know, and they'll start talking to you, they'll show you. I'm telling you, I've been saying it for years, and every time I ask, it, they show me. So just be prepared, it might be in a different way. It might be a YouTube video, it might be somebody talking, it might be, you know, just, you know, how I found my teacher, uh, my spiritual teacher, I just happened to find her on my YouTube video. So, you know, just be, be prepared. Um, okay, so the card for today, I'm going to still play with this deck. I really love this deck. This is my new tarot deck, and I forgot to tell you guys what it was last uh, yesterday's video. But the deck is called The Secret Language of Light. And this is the book. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, so it's called The Secret Language of Light. It's a tarot deck, and it comes with a beautiful guidebook and everything. And on the bottom it says, Transmissions from Your Soul. So I really, I, I just the secret language of light got my attention because I have the secret language of birthdays, the secret language of relationships, uh, and then the love card. So I have like a lot of these different um, books. And when I saw the secret language of light, I was like, oh, wow. So I had to get it. And then I had no idea what the deck was about. And it's such a beautiful deck. So and um, how the cards, you know, transmit uh, light transmission energy to you. So I thought that was just fascinating. So today's card, and it fell out twice. So I, I shuffled it, and I didn't believe it, and it came out again. So this is the card that we got. <laughs> and it's joy. We got joy. So again, I'm going to leave this up because this card is so amazing, and it's so beautiful. And I just love the how that light just shines out in the middle of that star. So really breathe that in. Like I said before, if you want to pause the video, totally pause it. That way you can get the vibration and the energy from this card. And the card says, discover what you love. Don't you figure, huh? If a thought does not give you joy, then search for one that does. Thank that thought for showing you where you don't feel joyful. And then reach for a pleasing thought. Let me see if I make sure I keep that straight. You can empower yourself by choosing joyful thoughts. You will disempower yourself by choosing sad thoughts. You will disempower yourself by choosing sad thoughts. Sorry. What will you choose today? There is almost always something to make you feel at ease in every situation. It is up to you to find that. Try reaching for a joyous thought right now. Look around your house at what gives you joy. Turn toward the joy in your life. If you can't find it outside, go within and create inner joy. It is not always the easiest thing to do. However, it is one of the most worthwhile things you can do for your physical and mental well-being. Open your heart to allow this blissful inspiration to direct your actions and you will give and you will give without expectation. Joy is your natural state of being. Now is the time to honor it. Let me see what the other side says. Oh, the meditation part. Okay. I love this meditation part. So you want to put your hand over this one. <laughs> so it's coming to balance and create bliss. Place a hand on the card and feel your heart connect with joy. I really recommend probably getting this deck. It's such a beautiful deck. I'm not, I don't get paid for this. So I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to sell the deck, but it's just such a beautiful deck. Um, connect with joy. Feel how soft and loving this is. Close your eyes. Slow your breathing. And allow yourself to be who you are. As you find joy within, you will find joy in the world. Sense your breath and feel it carrying you deep into your heart to a place of solace. This is your sacred place where you can, where you can be who you are. Just be. Feel infinite joy and love. It is always available to you. From this compassionate place, send joy to yourself and others. Hold a vision of a balanced, joyous world. Stay here for at least a minute. When you feel ready, focus on your physical body and breathe joy into your life and the world. 
Then open your eyes and see everything through loving eyes. Woo, sorry. Revisit this meditation when you are feeling unbalanced to neutralize your feelings and open you to joy. It is okay to feel sad. Learn to honor this without freaking out. If something is spinning your head around, you may like to affirm this during the meditation. I would prefer the world and all people didn't have to experience any fear or pain, but this is the way it is at this moment. Instead of trying to change the past, I will do all I can to bring about healing, rebuilding, and joy for today and the future. Allow all to be as it is. In your stillness, a joy door has opened. A joyous door has opened. <laughs> Stay here for at least a minute. When you feel ready, focus on your physical body and breathe joy into your life and the world. Then open your eyes and see everything through love. The inspired reflections and actions for this card is invite joy into your life. Read or watch your favorite comedy and laugh out loud. Put some fun music on and move your hips in a figure eight to release stored energy. In your journal work, draw or write about seven things you enjoy doing. It doesn't matter what they are. The more trivial, the easier, the more trivial, the easier it is to allow joy and love. Playtime encourages creative genius and access to greater soul wisdom. So I really, really love this card. I really love, I thought it was really fitting for today and what the energy I was feeling. And it just really fit. And so I just thought it was perfect. And this card is just absolutely gorgeous. And even around the edges of the card, you can see the purples and stuff. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful card. So... But yeah, it's called The Secret Language of Light by Denise Jarvie. I got it on Amazon, and I had no idea what a beautiful deck this was going to be, and I had no idea that they were like transmission, you know, cards and things. Um, but I just had to share it, and I thought it would hope, and I help other people that are going through a tough time, or if you're in your head too much, or if you're going through the dark night of the soul, you know, just do your journal work. Be patient with yourself. Be very loving. Um, and... Try not to project. Don't project stuff out. Because I know when I'm going through mine, it's like I end up in my head so much that I'm projecting stuff outside where I think I'm seeing. And it's not really the case. It's that I'm so shut in my own world that I don't see what's on the outside. So they're just saying really be patient with yourself. Really ground. Get into meditation. Um, get your chakras aligned. They asked about that this morning. How many of you have been working on your chakras? <laughs> so they want me to make sure I ask that question. So they want to know how many of you have you been working on your chakras and your energy. Making sure you're balanced and grounded with more clarity because we're heading into a really good time right now so mercury is finally going right went direct but we're still having the shadow effects until march 13th so they're saying just be ready uh, a lot of good things are going in so just make sure you're putting good intentions out make sure you're putting positivity out um if you're having any triggers coming up just to get through it you know don't breathe through it um, write about it, journal it, try to figure out why is it still affecting you? Why are you letting it still affect you? What is it that you have to look at that you're not seeing that will help you get past that issue? Um, so on that, if you have any questions, you can always leave it down in the, in the comments below. I'll answer right away. And again, thank you for coming by and thank you for watching my video. I hope you all have a blessed day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.